How's it going? I'd like to start off this video by saying, Jake, if you're watching this video, i just like to say, F*** you. I graduated from high school in June, and for the rest of the students, including my brother, the new school year has officially begun five weeks ago. And I'd like to put a few things in order of how we have to deal with school in terms of literally almost everything. This is also going to lead up to today's topic. You wake up, get dressed, eat, brush, realize you're almost late, put on your backpack, get on the bus, then off, hang out with friends, and as soon as you know it, the first class of the day begins and you take out all of your things. However, something is missing. Can you guys guess what it is? I'm going to give you 30 seconds to figure it out right now. Somewhere here, there's a timer. I might even give you less. That's right, kids. Screw you, Jake! Screw you, Jake! Lockers! When was the last time you used your locker in high school? For me, it was never. I've barely even seen a freshman open their locker. It's just so much easier to put your bag right next to your desk. It's that easy. In middle schools, you were forced to put your shit in your lockers, or at least that's what I was forced to do. It's just lockers are a waste of time. You have a better chance of being late to class by using your locker rather than putting your backpack next to your chair. Did you actually know that? You'll never see people use their lockers in high school because the school is so big that it'll take twice as long to put your shit back into your locker to get the new shit for your next class. That's too much shit. I'd like to do some drawing and a little bit of math to show you what it would be like if you were to use your locker in high school. And we're doing some drawing and math just like in school. F***ing school. And if this goes in depth, I truly apologize, but embrace yourself. You'll learn something, but nothing at the same time. Just like school. Ready? Go. You're in high school, and let's say second hour is about to end. You only have five to six minutes of passing time, which essentially means you have that much time to put away your things to get new things for the next hour. So now the bell rings, indicating second hour is over and you have to leave your classroom. Second hour was upstairs, your locker is downstairs. So you have to take the fastest route possible to get to your locker. But you can't run in the halls, and if you do, you look like a complete jackass, you know, just saying. It took you a little bit to reach from the stairs, now you have to go down them. Now from walking from the classroom to the stairs took maybe about two minutes, maybe two and a half minutes. Then you have to walk a little bit of ways to your locker. Now do your combination, open it, put your second hour shit away, and take your third hour shit out of your locker, close the locker, play with the combination so that no one can break into your locker. And all this locker stuff maybe took between like a minute and a minute and a half at the most. Then you realize third hour is all the way upstairs at the other end of the school. So now you have to go back up the stairs that you came down from. You realize that class is about to start and you're going to be late, but again, you can't run! Finally, your third hour is just around the corner, but it's too late, the bell rang, you're 45 seconds late to third hour, but you still have hope that your teacher accepts it. Just kidding, turns out your teacher's a big dick and marks you tardy. Not only that, but he tells you you have reached over five tardies, so now you must go down to the principal's office. YOU SON OF A bitch! So now I have to go downstairs to the principal's office, which is in the center of the school. You walk into his room and he asks, Why have you been tardy 20 times this year? And you reply, Because I've been using my locker and most of my classes are far away from it. THAT'S NO excuse. So then he suspends you for like the rest of the week. THE END! Isn't that a great story, kids? Screw you, Jake! Anyways, the last part with the principal uh, is obviously not true. It would never happen in, re in real life. At least I would hope not. But my point is, all school lockers are just pointless. Who cares if the school would look weird without them? People don't use them anyway. And although middle schools are, are so much bigger than high schools, it doesn't matter. Just get rid of them. Back in middle school, it was a sign of disrespect to take your backpack into the classroom. How the f is that disrespectful? And to who? It shows that you have come prepared with your things and that you are ready to learn. All it is is a backpack with school supplies. That for sure belongs in a classroom and a school. And no more screw you Jake's in lockers, okay? I mean, it's, it's very rare for someone to lock someone else in a locker. But don't do that. I mean, it, it's rare, but you're a with no goals or life if you do that. 
Okay, don't do that. Also, I heard that some locker shelves can cause a fire inside the lockers because some are flammable, which I don't know how the f that happens, but it only adds to the reasons why lockers should be eradicated from all schools. No more lockers, and that's it. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video to this channel. You know, I've been very, very busy with work, and it's just been very tiring. It's been very difficult, so I do apologize. So to prevent this, I want to ask you guys something that, you know, you can answer. Down in the comments section below, I posted a question that I really want answered. How do you post a message into the subscription box? You know, where YouTubers post, like, messages to their subscribers, whether there won't be a video, or I can't sell sh on Amazon because honestly I want to actually be doing that more often instead of like putting these segments into the video you know I want to like inform you guys that hey I won't be uploading a video so there won't be any videos until then so please answer the question with like a step-by-step -step process so that I can follow through also some exciting news Mega Man 11 is coming out October 2nd so for sure we're gonna be recording that we're gonna have a good time hopefully and you know, I'm really excited for the game. So now I'm actually gonna go inside the place that I actually live in is my closet. Because Jake forced me to, and I only have so much time to, you know, film this video. Well, you know, goodbye everybody. Uh, like the video, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos. Mega Man 11 coming out uh, this early, early October. Uh, make sure to answer my question into the comments section. Uh, more, more videos coming soon, all right? I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. If you ever want to like have this type of video in here where I talk in the closet, leave leave a comment. Goodbye. Screw you, Kate.